Last week, we got a sneak peek at an interview from the new movie, The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies. And with the movie opening tomorrow, this being the final movie in the trilogy, we thought we needed to bring, of course, our entertainment reporter, Jim <laughs> Ferguson, back. And we're talking about you went all the way to London mm -hmm. to get this. I did, Tina and Maria, and it was quite a trip. A long flight, but totally worth it. You would have loved it because you're into The Hobbit, yeah. The Battle of the Five Armies. This is, is the last of the trilogy. Uh, there were two trilogies, of course, six total films, and in my opinion, I reviewed it on Friday. It's the best. It really is the best. Ooh. They bring it all together. Uh, all the same stars are back again, and I loved it. I absolutely, it was, it was worth the long flight. Very festive, and London was very festive. Uh, I've never, you know, maybe it's the weather over there, the rain and cold, and it's kind of holiday type of, you know, place, but uh, it was wonderful. Yeah. What, you don't get that in Tucson? <laughs> <laughs> the cold and the, yeah. And I'll tell it's you, it was good to get morning. back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but London, I'm sure, was beautiful. Yes, it was. It really was. It was worth the trip because the film, uh, it's outstanding. It really is. It, it will win a few awards, I'm sure, this year. Yeah. Our first guest that we're going to talk to is Luke Evans. When he came down the green carpet, not a red carpet, oh, yep. at night in London on Oxford Street, the, they went crazy over him. He And Peter Jackson, the director, as well. Um, he plays Bard, the bowman, and his army is the ragamuffin residents of Lake Town. Uh, and he is the real action hero of the movie. That's all I'm going to say, but here is Luke Evans, really a nice guy. Will you have peace or war? I mean, you, you, you literally, you're dropped onto a, a, a high-speed train almost, you know? <laughs> There's no pulling off from the station. <laughs> yeah, the station was miles away, and you're actually full speed, full pelt, um, you know, and that's how it feels. You you hit the floor running, and there is no time. There's no there's no need for any more storytelling. The story is up and running, and, you're, and you're, running, you are yeah. you know exactly what's happening, yeah. and um, which is which is great. I mean, it doesn't let you uh, settle into your seat at all. It uh, which I think is exciting. You know, and it's how a third movie about a, an enormous battle between five armies should be. What do you hope the many thousands of fans of The Hobbit take away from this that now that it's over? I guess for many of the fans, many of the fans that were fans from The Lord of the Rings, they'll be reliving that sad moment of when they fi the final one came out and again they'll have to feel like that, that feeling of uh, that Christmas won't be the same again. Um, the final goodbye. The final goodbye, it really is a goodbye and I think uh, I think they'll be very excited, and uh, and and the one thing I felt after watching the final Hobbit was um, I can't wait for that first snowy, cold Sunday when I'm uh, when I have the full box set when I can watch all six back to back. <laughs> it, it, it is going to be sad that it's the last one, like you said. It is. It. it, it you know, I did all six. Yeah. Uh, of the film Junkets, and this it was kind of sad, and I could tell the actors were too, that it, and Peter Jackson, that it, it's over, it's come to an end, uh, sadly, because I am a big fan of The Hobbit. Uh, we talk, I talked to three of the elves, the king, of course, played by Lee Pace, um, and uh, Evangelina Lilly, who, bow and arrow, and everybody loves Evangelina, and of course, Orlando Bloom, and uh, I, I should have asked them, I didn't, if uh, their grandchildren ever were going to have to go to the North Pole. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just got that because they're elves. Oh. <laughs> the three elves, but their army, of course, they joined the dwarfs in, yeah. the, in the battle of the five armies, and here are the three elves. I just want to tell the three of you that I've done all six as a journalist, oh. and I'm very melancholy today. Oh. <laughs> Especially lovely. listening to Billy Boyd's The Final Goodbye. Isn't, isn't that, that fitting? Isn't that amazing? Me? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? That's typical Pete and Fran sort of yeah. bringing, it, bringing it around and bringing it to close in the right way. I think it's amazing. Yeah. It, it really is. Mm. Since I have three of you, could you just uh, give me a line for my audience in Arizona, uh, your character and what they do? Lee? Oh, I, I'm Lee Pace. I play Thrandall the Elven King. And uh, I lead the uh, Elven Army into the Battle of Five Armies. I'm Evangeline Lilly, and I play Tauriel, the star-crossed lover of the film, who <laughs> is also the captain of the Elven Guard. Ah, yes. And I'm uh, Orlando Bloom, and I play Legolas, son of Thranduil, slightly heartbroken by Tauriel, and, um, and a bit of an action elf, really. 
<laughs> well, of all the armies, the elves. I want that on a t-shirt. I know. I want, I want that on a cover a of GQ of an action magazine. Elf, really. <laughs> an action elf, right. In fact, this action elf has a couple of uh, action scenes that are classic. Yeah. Uh, the cool. final standoff, of course, and then yeah. the... You, you explain. Yeah, well, it's, you know, the funny thing about those moments... Um, when you get to shoot them as the actors, you kind of get, it's like a gift when you get to sit in the cinema and watch them as an actor and watch a film that Peter Jackson's directed because on set he's like, all right, Orlando, so they've, you've got a giant ball, you've got to stick your knife in there and then you're going to use it like a joystick <laughs> to get this giant ball to go somewhere over here and it's sort of all this, or well, you're hanging upside down and you're slashing things and you kind of are going, how is this all going to come together? And then you see it and Peter's mm. just genius for, for that sort of stuff. They're good, the elves. They are, absolutely. I and did. you know what? Did you see on SNL this set, past Saturday, they had a Hobbit installment of The Office? No. no. <laughs> I'll have to send you that link. Yeah. <laughs> it was I, pretty I, funny. Uh, but, you know, I did have an experience in London where Harry showed up at the hotel. <gasps> Prince Harry? Prince Harry. Did you see I him, actually? I just missed him. Oh, but my gosh. <laughs> Jim. I know. Friday. Yeah. Got to tell you this. A movie called Wild. Reese Witherspoon will be nominated for Best Actress. A great story. Every woman should see it. It's about a journey from uh, the desert in uh, California all the way to Canada. She walked over 1,000 miles. Wonderful story. And also Laura Dern, who plays her mother. Those are our two star guests for this Friday. Wild. We can't wait. A wonderful mm -hmm. film. Well, Jim, we always love when you come along because not only do we get uh, interviews from the stars, but we also get DVDs for you to win. Viewers out there, Ride Along featuring Ice Cube and Kevin Hart is available for you to win. Just visit TucsonMorningBlood.com and click on the contest link to enter.